How is it going everybody? You're watching Denabal Tech and today I'm going to show you how to fix any Apple Watch that either has a frozen screen so you're stuck on an application, you're frozen so no matter what you do your Apple Watch is completely unresponsive or maybe you have one of those issues where your Apple Watch is constantly displaying an Apple logo or sometimes just constantly rebooting and in a boot loop so it's turning off and turning back on and all you can see is either a black a black screen or an Apple logo so there's no way to bypass that to exit that or even maybe you have one of those screens where you are setting up your Apple watch and then you're seeing this screen and it doesn't go anywhere so you're stuck either on this screen or on that screen or on any other screen in any other application in your Apple Watch is unresponsive as a whole. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix that, how to actually bypass that, how to exit those annoying frozen states and get back to your Apple Watch. And the coolest thing is, without data loss so you won't need to reset your apple watch and also you won't need to pair with your iphone again or anything like that as i said your apple watch will be back to normal as if nothing ever happened all right so issues like that are not really common on the apple watch they happen sometimes on the iphone but not really on the apple watch but when they happen it's very annoying because you don't have a lot of alternatives you don't have a lot of things to do you don't you can't really plug in a cable and plug to your computer so that's there's pretty much nothing you can do but there's one thing you can do and it works on any and all apple watches so as you can see i'm running here an apple watch series 6 that's the one i have but this will work on any apple watch from Z from series 0 to series 6 it's all the same all right if there's a new method or a new apple watch in the future i will do an updated video on that all right but for now there's only one method that works for everyone so that's awesome and another very important thing is if you're having charging issues and that's a completely different thing like the green snake of death or any charging issue that your apple watch is not charging uh, even after hours and hours plugged in that's a whole different thing and i have a video on that so i'll put a card right here so click on that card and if your issue is related to charging go to that other video and that will help you out this is only for frozen unresponsive stuck and you got it all right so all you gotta do is actually press and hold both these buttons, which are the only buttons the Apple Watch has. So the digital crown and the side button. So if you have any issue with your iPhone and you wanna force restart it, that's not reset, that's restart. So, that's, so it's pretty much forcing your Apple Watch to turn off and turn back on, all right? That's what we're doing here, and we will not lose any data. All you have to do is press and hold both buttons, and I'll do it with you, all right? So press and hold. As you guys can see, I'm pressing and holding both buttons, and in a few seconds, the Apple Watch will turn off like it just did, and then you can let go. But if you are in a very, very complicated issue and you just want to be sure, you can keep holding until you see the Apple logo and now you can let go. All right, so you have both options. You can let go as soon as it turns off or you can let go when you see the Apple logo and that's the the, the way you're really forcing it, you know? Because uh, if you let go before you see the Apple logo, you're forcing shutting down. Uh, and if you keep holding uh, until you see the Apple logo for the second time, so it turns off and then turns back on, then you're forcing restarting it. So that's the process I recommend. So again, press and hold both buttons until it turns off. And then when the Apple logo reappears, then you can let go. So you're forcing restart. Okay. So as you can see, it takes a while for it to restart. Depending on your Apple Watch, it will take twice as much. This is an Apple Watch Series 6 and it also takes a while. And I'm not doing any cuts or anything like, like that, just to prove it to you that this is it. And as you guys can see, it turns on on the watch face, on the previous watch face that I was on, and that's it. That's what you got. 
it's working again. My Apple Watch does not have a passcode just for this video. Uh, so that's why it didn't ask for my passcode. And as you can see, you don't lose any data. Uh, even your uh, activity information will load in a second. All right, but uh, if we go back here, you see that I have all my apps, everything like that. This video was completely uncut as you saw. Sorry about that. And if we go here to activity, you'll see that the activity for today is here. Okay, the same activity we saw a couple minutes ago. So the activity of the day is right here on the watch face. It has loaded. So everything is here. So we don't lose anything. So that's how you bypass. That's how you actually exit and get away from any problems that you have on your Apple Watch. This is how you force restart it. This is how it works. So that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful to you. This is definitely helpful for any and all Apple Watch users. That's how you actually get away from most issues with your Apple Watch. And a lot of people don't even know this exists. So that's why I decided to make this video. That's pretty much it. And I'll see you in a few days as usual. Bye bye.